Can I help you? <laughs> Hand it over. Huh? Your money, damn it. Take anything. Take anything you want. My wallet, anything you want. Listen, old man, you hold out on me, I'm gonna carve you up like a Christmas turkey. You got it? <laughs> hey. Where's the rest of it? What? You made more than this tonight. Fork it over. You forgot to look behind the flap. The flap? Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's more like it. Yeah. Hey, listen now. Cops ask you who did a number on you. You don't know. You got it? Just too nervous. You're just too shook up to remember. You didn't see nothing, right? <laughs> what the hell are you blind anyhow? Hey, there's a fiber in my sock. Hey, you can have that if you want. No, no, the, the left one. Yeah. Hey, you can have my coat, too, if you want. You look cold, my friend. Come on, take my coat. What did you say? Here, try it on. It's yours. You said look. Huh? You said I look cold. I could tell by your hands they were shaking. For a minute there, I thought she's working that old fake blind man's gag on me. <sighs> Try it on. Huh? The coat. All right. Here. Now. Yeah, that's it. <sighs> it's a nice coat. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. It's warm. Yeah. Hey, how about a sweater to go with it? It's going to go below freezing tonight, you know. Oh, yeah? Mmm. Yeah. Boy. Uh, uh, how about that sweater there? Uh, this one? Yeah. It's 100% cashmere. Hey, you, you like this? Yeah. Oh, it's yours, my friend. You, here, you hold that for me. Yes, sir. You can have this sweater. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. That's soft. Uh huh. What'd you say this was? Yeah, that's cashmere. What do you think? You like it? Oh, that's sure warm, sure. Yeah, I like it. Hey, I'll tell you what. Why don't you make it three? Here. Then you can save the cashmere for Sunday, see? Hey, look, if it'll make you feel better, I'll tell them you stole a dot. <laughs> Here. Here. Well, Here. Put your arm out. All right. Yeah. What a raggedy old piece that is. <laughs> what are you, some kind of a sweater freak or something? <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Well, uh... I think you got some kind of sex hangout, mister. What do you call it, a, a sweater fetish? Fetish, that's the word. <laughs> well, I sure know how to pick them. <laughs> You're just lucky, I guess. Yeah, I'm lucky. Of course, the poets would call it destiny. Nowadays, the kids call it karma, but I prefer another way of looking at it. Karma, huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know nothing about that stuff, mister. Look, are you sure you don't want this? No. How about a hat to cover your ears, huh? Huh? I don't wear hats. Oh, it's gonna go below freezing tonight. If you're out there mugging people... Hey, get the wax out of your ears. I said no. I don't want nothing else from you. You got it? I think you do. You just don't know what it is yet. You run from me, Dan. You're running from yourself. How do you know my name? What? You called me Dan. I did? Yeah, that's my name, Dan. Oh, well, the slip of the tongue. I just confused you with somebody else I knew once named Daniel. There's something wrong with you, mister. They'll lock you up. They've tried. Oh. It'll be a cold day in hell before I rob another old dodo like you. You take care of yourself, Dan. Up yours. <laughs> That's all I need. They find your junk on me and I'm done for. Oh, don't worry about it. I'll tell them I gave it to you. Why'd you do that? 
I don't want to see you go to jail, Dan. When you hurt, I hurt. Hey, don't start spouting off. This sure ain't my night. Maybe it is, Dan. Uh oh. Oh, they're walking right this way. Uh, what? You ain't blind, you old faker. You see everything. I tell you, Dan, there are some days I wish I couldn't believe me. Checking out the massage parlor. If they go outside, I can get the hell out of here. It's just my luck. They don't want the free rub tonight. Well, wait, a come this way. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Dan! Dan! Dan, don't worry. Listen. Dan! Dan! You are nervous as a cat in a room full of rocking chairs. Cool it, man. Just go with the flow. Hey, who is this? You talking like some kind of street dude now? Who are you anyhow, mister? I'm your huh? buddy. I'm your buddy. You're helping me home, don't you understand? I only live around the corner over that little pizza parlor. Yeah. You're helping me home, get yeah. it? Yeah, right, right, right on, right on. Yeah, sure. Come on, take my arm. Yeah. We'll, we'll walk right by him. Yeah. I don't know what I got myself into tonight. Life, Dan. In my opinion, it's numero uno on my top 40 wonders. You're an officer. Excuse me, what's the old man doing? Step right up here. Yeah. yeah. I'll make it tonight. You're gonna make it home tonight. Well, I'm sure. sure grateful for you for helping me out. Oh. Come on in, Dan. Take off my coat and make yourself comfortable. <sighs> what the hell's the matter with you? Huh? You don't even have a deadbolt, not even a tumbler on this door. Do you know what kind of neighborhood you're living in, what kind of chances you're taking? Why the hell don't you get a good locksmith up here and button this place up? Oh, I'll tell you the truth, it never even occurred to me. Well, you're alone, dummy. You know what a temptation you are? This neighborhood's full of winos and junkies. Hell, we're just hanging around on the street corner looking for an easy mark like you to come down the street. <laughs> we follow you home and, uh, zap! You're dead. <laughs> Look at you. You're the sucker born every minute. You're right. Of course I'm right. Nice, you ain't got a brain in your head. I can slit your throat right now and clean this whole joint out. Ah, hey, hey, Why don't you just take a seat? Come on. No, 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 no. This is crazy pad you got here, Blinky. <laughs> Where'd you get all this stuff? Bag, bar, or steal it? Oh, these souvenirs. I just picked them up in various corners of the world. Corners of the world. Yeah. Woo, woo. <laughs> Somehow, you don't seem like a traveling man to me, Blinky. Well, that's the first rule of the trade, Dan. So you never limit yourself to one place. Better to be everywhere. That way I don't wear out my welcome. Yeah? <laughs> well, you don't look like a world traveler. Well, I'll tell you something, Dan. When you're in everybody, it's easy to be everywhere. Right? Right, uh, right. Of course, sir. I never use the same face twice. Face? Yeah, well, you'd call it a disguise, see? Uh -huh. But not tonight, for instance. Tonight I was blind, eh? But tomorrow, eh? <laughs> tomorrow, I could be on a chain gang, eh? Oh, gimpy, eh? Oh, a born loser with a record as long as your arm. Oh, hey, don't hit me. Hey, don't hit me. Don't, don't beat me. <laughs> you see, Dan? beaten down and the oppressed, they're very special to me. Who says I have to be a man? I could be, I could be a hooker. Yeah, that's it, a hooker. Hey, hey. <laughs> Woo. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Looking for a little entertainment tonight? Yeah, bet, honey. Oh, oh. That'll, that'll cost you. you got, I got the money, honey, if you got the time. <laughs> I'm booked up tonight, sweetheart, but give me a ring tomorrow, huh? You bet. <laughs> you see, Dan, She's desperate and she's lonely. All she needs is somebody to say, hey, listen, I care. Hey, and then I could be an Indian beggar in a Bombay gutter. Oh! <laughs> Who 
rule it. I got enough troubles of my own. I know that, Dan. That's why I'm here. And stop talking in riddles, too. <laughs> I have to. If I tell people who I really am, they might turn away, afraid of me. So, I wear a mask. Well, no more than Indian screamers. Lighten up. All right, take a seat. Check out this one for me. How are you, Dan? I'm Bertie the Busker, doing an English music hall turn at Marble Arch. I'm going to sing a little song for you if you come a little closer. Here we are. Ta-da! London Bridge is falling down. Ain't it a blooming shame? Walking my girl across the Thames will never be the same. Oh! <laughs> London Bridge is falling down. That don't bother me. My government protects us all from any catastrophe. Ho! <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's fantastic. I'm telling you, no, I'm not kidding. <laughs> hey, I know a guy across town. He's got a saloon. I'm telling you, he'd put you to work in a minute. <laughs> you, you're talented as hell, you know that? Oh, 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 I'd prefer another location for your simile, if you don't mind. Ah! <laughs> hey, hey, I bet you got a hundred ways in this old box to milk all them suckers out there. Huh? What you pulling in now, about 50 bucks a day? Well, I have good days and bad days, Dan. Ah, come on. You can count all the rest of them suckers, mister. We're not old Danny boy. You use that good Samaritan gag, right? Well, listen, I know everybody's out for number one. You ain't no exception. Hell, that giveaway campaign you got going, that's just a big con, right? No. Hey, here, 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 here. You keep them couple of fibers Dan I took off of you. No, I want the real loot. Dan. Come on, where are you hiding it? What's mine is yours, Dan. What more can I say? Where is it? I, I told you. I want to tear your house up until I find it. Nice guy. I'm gonna give you three seconds to tell me. I'm gonna slit your throat. Listen, Dan, everything you see, you can have. That's the best I can do. I'm a thief and a killer, and I take what I want. I'm gonna count to three. One. The television set. You could fence it. I need the cash now. Two. How about a, a nice electric can opener? Three. Dan, Dan. All right, all right. The, the closet. The closet. What the hell? Oh, oh! <laughs> I should have warned you. I try to keep a few toys and things in here. I like to see my children play. You got kids? Of course. You're all my kids. You know, when I was a kid, I would have gone crazy if I had a pile of junk like that. Well, you see anything in there you like, just help yourself. Huh. You ain't got no scooter in there. Well, <laughs> huh. ah. yeah. What the hell you think I am, nuts? What do I want with toys? I hate toys. Wait a minute. That looks like the one. Just like the one you had when you were a little boy. There's my mark, it is, it's mine. You're remembering that day, aren't you? The day you went looking for your dad and you found him at the corner bar, smashed, lying in his own vomit. So you hauled him in your wagon. Kids on the street laughing and jeering at you. Yeah, Charlie Roar. Freaky! You defended him. You had the guts to tough it out, take him home, and let him sleep it off. You had to save him, Dan, because you loved him. 
<laughs> of course, you were just a little boy, and it was too late. That's a damn lie, mister. It never happened. I don't know where you got all that garbage. The ring. Just like the one you gave her. You were only 19, Dan. Most guys, well, they would have split and that girl was a victim of a gang rape. But not you. You hung in there, you never turned your back. Oh, you may have only put a fake ring on her finger, but two years later, you did marry her. Oh, leave me alone, mister. Dan, you wanted to save her. You tried. You cared enough to try. I messed up her life. I bugged out on her. She OD'd. Hell, I same as killed her. You loved her, Dan. How the hell do you know that? You don't know nothing. Just like the one you left at the shelter for your little girl. Oh, Cindy. Before the couple came to take her away. Oh, shut up, mister. Dan, you signed those papers because you knew she'd have a better life if you let her be adopted. That's real love, too. Will you please quit, mister? I mean, just shut up. I don't know how somebody can know what a man's thinking inside of his head and feeling inside of his heart. Who in the hell do you think you are anyhow, God? Yes. What? You're right. I'm God. You? I had to tell you sooner or later. You're God? That's right. You're, you're, you're the God that's up there on the throne with all them bands of angels and all that glory around him. That God, that's me. Oh, wow. <laughs> sure. Well, step right up, ladies and gents. Here's everybody's favorite funny man. Let's give him a big hand, everybody's favorite God. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Sure, Dan, quite a bit of the world's humor is aimed at me. Actually, I, I quite enjoy it. Did you ever hear the one about the two Jewish gentlemen who were discussing Hey, God? mister, the joke is over. I mean, all you gotta do is look around this stinking world and see there ain't no God. Does it embarrass you? What? That I'm God? <laughs> you know something, mister, they gonna drop a net over you. No, Dan, it does embarrass some people to admit that they believe in me. Ah, come on. Yeah, that's, that's why I like to meet them on their own turf with a familiar face, so they don't get too uptight about it. You, mister, aren't God. <sighs> I'm not? No way! Well, I admit, some days I don't much feel like it, but I can't escape the fact, Dan, I am. Oh, yeah? Well, if you are God, mister, how come you let the world get so screwed up? I gave you people the world. I told you to love and take care of one another. The rest, you have to work out on your own. Well, I told you I'm not gonna listen to that garbage. You don't want me to forgive you. That's it, isn't it? Forgive me? Yeah. Because, you see, if I forgive you for all that you've done, then you'll have to forgive yourself. That's part of the bargain. You know something, mister? I got you figured out pretty good. You just one of those people who likes to go around confusing people. Dan, once you come to accept yourself, it's all very simple. There's right and there's wrong. You pays your money and you takes your choice. I call that free will, and it is number two on my top 40 wonders right after life. Well, wonderful. But you aren't God. Now, look, Dan, I want to help you. Trust me, okay? Why in the hell should I trust you? 
I never trusted nobody in my life, and I ain't about to start now. Even if you are who you say you are. Of course I am. I always was, and I always will be. Ah, oh, well, somebody please tell me why I'm standing here talking to this yo-yo who actually thinks he's God. Hey, mister, you're okay, but I'm gonna have my head examined. Better your heart, Dan, because then you'll see underneath all that anger, there's a decent man struggling to be born. Decent? Me? You don't know nothing. You don't know any of the things I've done in my life. This may sound conceited, Dan, but there isn't anything I don't know. I'm dirt. I'm lower than dirt. Nothing. No, no, that's not true. I'm nothing. You stop putting down what I raised up. N-O-T-H-I-N-G, nothing. Oh, you are making me angry. Surely you've heard of the wrath of God! Dan. Dan, I love you. How can you be nothing? Well, I would have been. If you hadn't have butted in tonight, them pigs would have killed me. And all this rotten mess of my life would have been over with. And who now would have cared? I would. Oh, God. At your service. Any time you need me, Dan. Hard Any... get away from me! You're a stark raven loony! Dan. Dan, you live in me, I live in you. We're part of each other. No! Yes! No! No! Dan! We are, Dan! So what are you gonna do with the rest of your life? Oh, geezer. He conned me again. All this God craziness made me forget what I was doing. Jesus Christ. All that loot's on me. Geezer! There's no God! Around here? Yes, yes. Where you live? Over there. Yeah. Well, let me take you home. Listen, this is a bad neighborhood. You don't know. Listen, you don't want to get mugged. No, no, no. no I'm telling you. Come on, you're okay with me. Come on. Come on. Come on. 